Yeah, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a manga read, what I've been reading in November and December. Uh, I didn't get a chance to read a great deal the last those last two months. Uh, my job, they just were super busy, so they kept me pretty much working long hours. Uh, I'm not complaining, but it's just there was nothing else I could do really, just but work, sleep, and do errands. So not much, read, not much reading that I did, but continuing. So I think this is like kind of the first thing that I finished in the November. Uh, uh, so I'm a spider. So what? Volume six. And uh, for me, volume five left off at this climax. Uh, things came in and converged. So I felt that maybe some of those, like we, I would get an insight into how things came to that point. But uh, this, the story kind of took another turn in here, and uh, because uh, the series up to, up until this point has been following two different timelines and. Uh, I mean the reincarnations in different places, uh, but uh, it, it chose to focus in this volume on Kana, Sophia, and uh, you know the vampire and uh, you know our our girl White and the Demon Lord and kind of the, the, them traveling together and what's gonna happen? What's gonna, what's what's in store for basically Sophia? Also, they were antagonists, uh, and I liked <laughs> some of the antagonists. Uh, I liked a little bit of the side story, so there were stories mingled in here and there, and uh, even though it did not resolve the, some of the issues in volume 5, or kind of some of the questions that were raised in that volume, or how things came to that point, this kind of goes back and fills in some of those gaps, so I think gradually uh, the, the payoff is going to come later on. So I have the next few volumes, but I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it really. Uh, this one, whoa, this one was a, a gut wrench. Volume 6, uh, yeah, man, I, we were following Fast Fight, and it's like every time, I don't know, uh, the goal that she set for herself in like the first two volume with her, uh, the, the relationships that she has with Cinder, and some of the things that she wants to accomplish, also kind of the investigation that she's trying to carry, it feels like Fast Fight even though, you know, her harness level, her as a character, she is very, very fragile as far as body, you know, as far as uh, her uh, physical uh, form in these in this physical. And I think that kind of reflects her personality, perhaps, or maybe even her actions. And it feels like in this volume that she took on so much and all those pressures come together. So I felt, yeah, I felt sad uh, reading this one. So I don't know where it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say enough anything about what happens to her uh, in a sense because is it her or uh, I don't think they're gender. They have genders, but yeah, fast fight. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, the other characters that she interacts with, uh, Ghost, and also kind of the other assemble of, uh, uh, you know, these these uh, gems. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. The mystery is still, there's more questions. And... and uh, uh, personally, this kind of feels a little bit similar to to your eternity, but uh, the the characters, the dynamic are is way way different from Fushi and you know how he, you know some of the things that he encounters. So it's very very different. But all in all, I'm kind of hoping I don't know what's gonna happen to her. Yeah. So fast fight, and then I have volume one. I tried this one. Uh, King Yo used bookstores. Uh, this one, uh, there's a variety of things in here that I kind of, I read it slowly, so that's the kind of surprising thing. I didn't like finish it in one sitting, I just took it with me and read, you know, uh, the chapters in here. Uh, there's probably close to about six different stories in here, kind of like an anthology, and how some of these characters, when they come to this bookstore, there's a bookstore, they either uh, remember their fond memories when they used to read books, and kind of just stir something within them. And then, uh, you know, so there's just this connection. Uh, so this is one of the panels. Uh, yeah, there's a reveal. And one of the characters comes to the basement of the uh, this manga bookstore that just has so many books in storage. And he, he encounters a book that was uh, uh, precious to him. And it's just the emotion that comes back. He also even deals with a little bit with a character that decides to uh, because his father is, uh, uh, I think, uh, his father, if I recall correctly, his father worked at a manga bookstore, maybe, and he, the son was just sick and tired of him always being exposed to manga, so he goes to a country where there's no manga, he goes to France, but then encounters uh, French uh, uh, graphic novels, I mean, and then it's like, 
in a sense, he can't escape uh, the medium of graphic, uh, you know, telling stories through uh, pictures. Uh, it's, it's just funny, and, and it kind of brings that those concepts together. Even though these are mangas, you know, French graphic novels can still, you know, so so he encounters that. It was weird. Uh, I just like that part. And uh, I tried Rave Master because when I picked it up, a lot of people commented in my mini manga haul for December, I should give it a try. Uh, like I said, I got this uh, as a nostalgia. I mean, it came with my, uh, I was trying to buy a, a Trigon. So it came with Trigon. And I read the first two. And I'm just slowly getting into it. Uh, I think if I read the third one, uh, I'll probably... I'm not as hyped as a lot of people are out there about this. Uh, like I said, this I enjoyed this series on, on television when I was young. So I don't know if my mind, uh, the child me, and this grown adult will enjoy the same thing. So I, I read the first two. Uh, I, I, I think I'll, I'll continue. I have up to about volume five, so... And I continued my journey with prison school, so I'm at volume 11. Uh, I only have uh, three more now. Yeah, three more to complete the series. And <laughs> yeah, my goodness. It's just the amount of mayhem and the amount of uh, uh, things that, you know, like surprises that come out in this volume. Or in general, just prison school as a whole. It's, it's a show that, uh, yeah, is masterfully crafted. And it's just absurd, really absurd. And... Uh, you know, the scale sometimes feel like it's the end of the world, even though it's uh, a wrestling match, uh, match, you know what I mean, <laughs> two groups. Yeah, actually, I found uh, the antagonist, the student, um, the official student council president, Kate, to be very, very conniving. And I just like the, the way that she, because there was this power struggle between the two, you know, presidents, and I like the way she handled. It was kind of like a chess match in a way. A chess match and I I just liked some of the approach that she took even though she kind of bullied some of the students even though she bullied some of the students I don't know what that was about and then I read Animata uh, or Annie Meta 1 and 2 uh, when it came in I just uh, the moment I opened the box I just read it uh, I have one more volume but uh, it was cool uh, I, I liked it like I said, I'm not gonna. Uh, this is my first J novel books. Uh, I don't think it's like like anything that uh, intriguing or very very special. I just kind of it was a story. It was okay, like average, uh, but I didn't mind it when I read it. So, but uh, uh, animator one and two. I'll read the third one and then decide if I want to continue with the series. I'm, I've been also reading these ones along. Uh, I think I finished Ascendance of a Bookworm Volume 2 maybe last month. I don't know if I showed it in the other one. Uh, I completed it then. And then I, you know, I'm almost done with the third one. I'm just reading the bonus. Uh, these are just the bonus chapters. So the story is completed in this one. Uh, so the first part of uh, the trilogy, or the first part of this uh, reincarnation, Ascendance of a Bookworm, Part 1 is complete. So I will start reading Part 2 once I finish this bonus stories. But uh, yeah, uh, it was a journey. It was a journey with Ascendance of a Bookworm. Actually, I forgot to mention it, but uh, I did read this one too, Blade of the Immortal. Uh, I can't believe I forgot it. I read it in December uh, when I was collecting these Blade of the Immortals. And I found it, uh, uh, there's three in ones. I, I took my time reading it and I, and I was just paying more attention to the, to the art and the storyline. But I did watch the movie beforehand, so I kind of knew what I was getting into, uh, the anime movie. So, in a sense, it kind of guided me. So, I, you know, I stopped at the right spot. So, I'll continue reading. I'll do an official uh, video about it, so I pretty, pretty much won't say anything about it at the moment. Uh, anyways, uh, let me know uh, what you guys have been reading uh, in the comments. Uh, otherwise, if you have any question on these... Uh, let me know how far into, because uh, it's kind of like the story is not progressing fast enough for me, in a way, I think, uh, for Rave Master. So if you've read it uh, ahead, without spoiling it, let me know you know what, what to expect for, for Rave Master. Other than that, uh, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, pretty much a happy new year. And hopefully 2021 uh, is a bundle of reading and just, you know, hopefully it's not as bad. Uh, so, uh, peace. Have a nice uh, weekend.